Hi, I'm Greg Holliday with Bradford White, and I'm here to talk to you today about the Aerotherm heat pump water heater and how heat pumps work. Now, you might be asking, why heat pump for a water heater? Well, water heating is the second highest energy user in the house, and it takes a heat pump to knock 70% off of that bill just by moving heat rather than creating heat. Let me say that again, second highest energy user, and this reduces that operating cost, providing the same volume of hot water as a standard electric water heater does, but at a 70% energy reduction. That's about three to $400 a year on a product that could have a six or a 10 year warranty. That's three to $4,000 savings for that homeowner that they'll see every single month on their electric bill. Now heat pumps have been around for a long time. In fact, you've got several in your house today, you just may not know them by the name of heat pump. So I'll ask you to think about that. How many heat pumps do you think you have? Well, you might be surprised to know that your refrigerator in your kitchen, that's a heat pump. It takes the heat out of whatever you put inside that small compartment, and instead of making the food cold, it extracts it and puts it at your feet in the floor. An air conditioner in your house says, we're not gonna make the house cold, we're gonna extract heat from the house, and we're gonna put it outside. And the more heat we take out, the colder it gets. The same thing for an air conditioner in your wall. Half of it is inside, half of it is outside. The part that's outside is releasing the heat that it captured. So heat pumps are a proven technology that are far more efficient than other ways of accomplishing those same tasks because they move heat rather than creating heat. And there's no better way to do that than with a heat pump. Now, those same technologies can be applied to a water heater. It just simply runs in reverse. It says we're gonna take heat from the air around this tank and figure out how to transfer it to the tank without ever touching the water with the heat exchanger. Now, why is that critical? Because 85% of the United States has hard water. And when a heating element is in the water, it begins to scale up as the calcium and the magnesium attach, and it causes the efficiency to go downhill. You'll notice with this product that the condenser line is wrapped around the outside of the tank, not in the water. So we're never touching the water at the point of heat transfer. In fact, here's how it works. Somebody gets in the shower, starts using hot water. As you know, the dip tube in a tank pushes the cold water to the bottom. And now the sensor on the tank, the electronic thermostat says, wow, I recognize that the temperature is changing. Let's turn on the heat pump. So the compressor and the evaporator fan begin to operate, pulling warm air across that evaporator. Now warm is anything above 35 degrees on this product. And it says I can extract heat right at that temperature if I have to. So we pull that warm air in to the R134A refrigerant. We warm that gas up and then compress the gas, which makes it very, very hot. And we release the heat by wrapping that condenser line around the outside of the tank, never touching the water, as I mentioned earlier. Now that heat goes through the tank and using only 550 watts of power. That's the equivalent of about five and a half 100 watt light bulbs in your house. We heat that tank all the way to 140 degrees. Now, you'll notice that there are still standard electric heating elements in this tank. Those are there for backup. That says that if you've got a 13 year old in the house that thinks showers were made to you know, wash for three hours and they're gonna use every drop of hot water that you have in the tank, we wanna make sure that this water heater recovers at the same rate. So this is a hybrid water heater. It's utilizing both technologies, old and new, to deliver that same volume of hot water uh, for your home. So those heating elements will only kick on if the tank is pretty much completely drained. And at that point, the recovery is gonna be the same. Now, we also blow in about two inches of non-CFC foam. So this creates an R19 energy blanket around this tank, which means your standby losses are only about five degrees in the course of 10 hours. So what we've shown you is a better way to heat water, a heat pump that moves heat with the backup of standard electric heating elements that are there if you need them, if somebody should drain the tank. So you have to ask yourself, why wouldn't I want a heat pump? I've been trusting them in my house for all of these other products for my entire life. Why wouldn't I want this to be applied to a water heater? So now you have to decide, do you have your aerotherm yet? I want you to get heat pumped up.